All right, so we are about to start a 20 hour road trip with like five people, a dog, and a U-Haul. And we're up here, it's six o'clock in the morning. Brooklyn's moving and I'm moving back with her. It's really just Brooklyn moving though. I'm just bringing like a few little things that I brought with me for the summer. And we are still trying to pack all of this, plus maybe another person in this place that we have here. <laughs> So it's um it's not looking good so far. My mom is trying to decide if she wants to come or not, which is a big deal because my mom does not like road trips, but I think she just really doesn't want to say goodbye to Brooklyn yet. So she's thinking about maybe coming if we have space, but right now I don't even think we have space for what we have. So we're playing like ultimate Jenga with two lamps, a TV, three suitcases, four bins, a bag of clothes, and like six people. <laughs> It would be a miracle if we fit this all in here, but we're in for the long haul with this long, long, long road trip. So I'm gonna record the whole thing and we'll see how it goes. Well, look who decided oh to come. Oh my goodness, look at right now. <laughs> it always turns on my flow. Sweet baby. Bright light, bright light. She decided to come with 10 minutes notice. Yes, I might be sorry in an hour. Yeah, <laughs> once you're locked in and uh -huh. can't back out. Yep. We are officially, what, like four hours into our drive? We're still smiling. I think we're all on four, four right hours and we're still smiling. Yeah, we're still okay right now. We're gonna have to see in a video. We'll like, like eight hours. or nine <laughs> hours and then it's gonna be down. But it's like we're we only have like 14 hours left. I feel like it's not like super long. I don't know. Once you start hitting like nighttime, well, that's so far none of us have driven except for Dakota. I know. <laughs> I didn't go to taking one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and Finn is just chilling here. Penny, penny. Officially in New Mexico, we made our second gas stop of the day. <laughs> we have been trying to get Finn to go to the bathroom, and he has not gone at any of our stops. And my mom's like, "Oh, I can get him to pee." And within two minutes, yep, that worked. I told her she's gonna scare the pee out of him, and I guess she did. I didn't even have to scare. <laughs> but we are net just now stopping. Um, my dad and Dakota have been driving the whole way so far and it's like been eight hours. So I think we have way more drivers than we even need from being honest because we're already like almost halfway through the drive and we haven't even switched drivers. So uh, we're doing good and I'm thinking we're going to be able to go all the way through, which will be super nice to, to get there and done. But fun fact is I actually have a guitar coming. It was, it's at our house. I got it shipped to our house in Texas and I was supposed to pick it up and bring it with me on the drive and it got there four hours after we left. I've been waiting for that thing for like weeks. So I'm trying to deal with that, but we are taking a quick food and gas break and then we're gonna hit the road again. We officially have like 10 hours left out of our 19 hour drive and everybody's doing great. So that's our update. Look at all this nothingness out here. We're like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so we are definitely more than halfway through our drive and Finn is just cracking all of us up. Finny! Finn! Say hi! He like hasn't made a peep the entire drive, but he just has the same routine. He'll get back here, lay on the blankets for like an hour or two, and then it'll get hot. So we'll go to Brooklyn's lab for like 10 seconds and stick his face in the vent, and then we'll come back here to my mom and I. He likes sitting with us. And Dakota is still driving. I don't know how or why, but he's still going. But maybe, uh, maybe we'll switch over We're just eventually. keeping him awake. Yep. That's our job right now. Yes, that is. So we're still out here in the middle of the desert. But we're going. 
strong. We're at our second, third stop. I don't even know what stop anymore. In New Mexico, we're about to cross the border. And guess what he's doing for me? Colorado. <laughs> How'd you get in the poop? Well, none, of, none of us can get him to go to the bathroom except for my mom. But we have a nice sunset going on over there. And we are about, I think we decided six hours away, which is not too bad. We are making good time. I feel like we've shaved off like quite a bit of time, um, which is weird considering the U-Haul doesn't even go up like 75 miles per hour. But we're making really good time. Looks like we're gonna roll in at about like 1.30 in the morning. And other than that, I'm, I'm glad we didn't have to stop in a hotel. That always makes road trips feel really, really long. We're making good time. We're gonna get to Utah soon. And I'm excited to be back. No, nope, nobody. The dog whisperer. Body. Do we look like hitchhikers? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Vinny. Hey, Vinny. Hey. Would not be baton, like the airport like the light guy. Light of baton. He's literally like an airport guy right now. Let's all make the beep noise. <laughs> so funny. a road trip this long in like eight years. <laughs> long time. And she's losing it. Brooklyn and I are doing great. We're fine. Cody's doing great. Mom's losing it a little bit. I also just barely woke up. It's not even worse. We're an hour and a half out and it's currently one o'clock in the morning. Right now. We finally, <laughs> what are you doing? We finally rolled into, Finn has so much energy right now. He's just running around the basement. But we made it to Utah. We're staying here at my grandparents' house tonight. It is like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we don't know where the U-Haul is, behind us somewhere. Finn, wow, you popped out of nowhere. And then we're gonna finish the move in the morning. So that's it. Well, I just came down to my car to find <laughs> and a note, <laughs> but at least they left a note. I don't know how long ago they hit me, but it was an honest. Is if you ever hit somebody, leave we a appreciate note. the fact that we there was a note. Appreciate the fact left. that there's no, and it won't be a super expensive fix, I don't think. But it's mild inconvenience. We are back in my apartment. They like, I think somebody shut the AC off because nobody was living here all summer, and it's like hot. It feels like humid in here. We're back. And it literally, like, y'all know when you smell something and it, like, brings back memories? I literally am smelling, like, moving when I moved to college. Yeah, she's like, this smells like when <laughs> I was moving it smells like when I was moving in. It is weird, but I am back, getting settled, and all, like, my roommates are pretty much gone. It's just me, so. Isn't it just you for the whole summer? Yeah. But, yeah, it's empty. Look. It's 
weird. I just unloaded all my road trip snacks <laughs> to my pantry. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. He's just watching. watching he does this at home too. He's like, home? Is this home? He has no idea. He hasn't even been to his actual new home yet, no, so yeah. he's still way lost. Yep, we are just dropping my stuff off so I can move back in and trying to get some air conditioning pumping through here because it is hot and humid. That's all. It's weird being back in my room. I'm home. My plant's still alive. 